First, we begin tonight with just released video of Emmanuel Ellis arrest, the African-American man who died while being arrested in Tacoma. His death at the hands of police uh, bring new calls tonight for justice and police reform. King 5's Kristen Ayers joining us live with our top story. Kristen, based on that video, an attorney for the Ellis family is now calling for Tacoma's chief to step down. Is that right? Yes, Joyce, that video was actually shot by a passerby, and in it you can see as an officer briefly uses a chokehold technique on Manuel Ellis while a second officer uses a taser on him, even though authorities and attorneys for the officers have previously denied that either of those things happened. This is the most recent video released of Manuel Ellis's deadly encounter with Tacoma police officers March 3rd. We slowed the video down. You can see an officer pull Ellis backward in a brief chokehold. Then you see Ellis raise his hands once and then a second time. The video contradicts what attorneys for the four Tacoma police officers said in a statement last week. Quote, no one choked Mr. Ellis, the attorney's statement said, not at all. Clearly based on the, upon this video, that's not true. The attorney for Ellis's family says it also contradicts statements the Pierce County Sheriff's Department has made. On June 4th, spokesman Ed Troyer flat out denied that Ellis was tased. They didn't use pepper spray, they didn't use a taser. But an officer is clearly seen using a taser in the video, and a medical examiner's report confirmed that. James Bible, an attorney for the Ellis family, says the video is damning. Ultimately, what we see here is, is an absolute disregard for human life, and then uh, the indignity of the cover-up following it. But in a statement, an attorney for the officer said the video shows nothing new. Quote, these video clips do not present the aha moments that proponents wish to create, attorney Michael Staropoli said. Instead, they both corroborate and confirm much of what investigators are likely to already know about the encounter. Tacoma Police Chief Don Ramsdell has said the investigation precludes him from saying much about Ellis. But today, Ramsdell announced the department is working on a series of new policy changes, including, among other things, banning chokeholds and strangleholds, requiring officers to issue a warning before shooting, and requiring officers to intervene if a fellow officer uses clear, excessive force. But Bible says those changes are not enough, and tonight called for Chief Ramsdell to step down. The city of Tacoma needs something new. They they need a change in terms of their leadership. They need a change in terms of their chief specifically. The attorney for the Ellis family went on to say that an announcement from Governor Inslee about the independent investigation that is pending could come as early as tomorrow. Live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.